This native Australian plant might not look like much, in fact you might have seen it at your local pond, but what if I told you these floating fronds could end up on a rocket to Mars? Right now, the world is a little bit obsessed with Mars. I mean, in 2017, the US president at the time literally signed a presidential order telling NASA to get people on the red planet by the 2030s. We will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars. It'll be the longest mission we've ever been on, around three years at a bare minimum. And while it's gonna present a bunch of technological challenges, one of the biggest is, what are we going to eat? We're proposing a toast just because we're in space and we can. Astronauts don't exactly starve on missions at the moment, eating anything from freeze-dried macaroni to pizza. And occasionally, resupply vehicles will bring the International Space Station fresh fruit and vegetables. But the ISS is only 400 kilometres away. Mars is 100 million. So resupply is near on impossible. And when the cost to send just one kilogram into space is $25,000, stocking a ship with more than a thousand days worth of food is not exactly doable. Luckily, researchers from across Australia are working on a solution. Come with me. I should switch this off. G'day Jenny, how you going? I'm good, thanks, how are you? Good, thank you. Now, what are we doing here? So this is duckweed. It's a really cool little plant. You see it growing on the surface of water sometimes. You walk past a river or pond and it's very green. People think it might be an algae or something. It's quite often duckweed, which is a plant that's related more to wheat and barley. And we think this is going to be a food for astronauts in space. Gotcha, and why are you interested in it? Why, why are you researching it? It's a really interesting plant to work with, but it's also super nutritious, so we can eat it as is. It's really high in protein, it's got a lot of vitamins in it, so it's almost a complete meal. There's a few criteria when it comes to picking the best food to take on a trip to space. One, it has to be healthy and nutritious. Freeze-dried meals might be good for short missions, but nutrients degrade over a long period of time, so they're no good. Two, they can't take up too much space or produce much waste. Again, that means pre-packaged meals are out of the question. And three, they need to be quick to grow and ready to eat. Astronauts have grown things like lettuce and chilies on the ISS, but these things take a bit of time to grow. Duckweed is always ready to eat. In fact, it doubles every 48 hours. So you can just keep eating it and eating it and it's gonna keep growing and growing. I'm gonna keep this container here for the next few days and we'll see how quickly and how much actually grows. Stay tuned. So uh, you say it's a meal. Mm -hmm. These things are tiny. I don't think I'd be particularly satisfied just with that. So how are you planning to, to satisfy astronauts' needs? It's a, it's a really good point. They are very tiny, but they grow really, really fast. So even if you only had like a metre growing space, you could have maybe stack it 15 trays high to the ceiling. So you could grow quite a lot. And we freely admit not everyone wants to just eat kind of green goo for food. So one of the projects we work in a large group of scientists is we work with food scientists who think about how we can process this into something that tastes good. While duckweed is extremely high in protein and is packed with plenty of nutrients, there are still room for improvements. Most plants don't produce vitamin D, so Jenny's lab is looking at ways to genetically engineer species of duckweed to solve this problem. A lot of astronauts also suffer something called menu fatigue, where they get sick of eating the same types of meals, so they just don't eat at all. It can cause astronauts to lose weight, become nutrient deficient, and overall morale on missions to drop significantly. The most commonly requested food on the ISS is a nice, crisp apple. As a solution, Jenny is looking into whether she can introduce new genes into duckweed, the code for different flavours of food, to provide a bit of variety in the menu. 
Um, so we're really just at the beginning, honestly. So really it's about how do we go from producing a small amount of this to producing something that really is a, a foodstuff that someone could rely on in a really stressful and remote situation. We see it as like a little green factory for making medicines, um, building materials and all sorts of things. So we have students who are starting to work on projects like that. All right, we've been talking a lot about it being a great food. So can we go and eat some? We can absolutely go and try some, not here in the lab, but we can go to the greenhouse. Let's do it. Lab coat's off. Lab coat's off, thank you. Ugh. The greenhouse. The greenhouse. Here we are. So this is where we're growing some of the plants that are more for human consumption, yeah. sort of outside the lab. Um, and you can see it's a little bit less high tech here. <laughs> a little bit less high tech, but... <laughs> this is kind of getting closer to how we might grow at large scale for, for human consumption. Not necessarily buckets, it might be a bit fancier. Gotcha. Now you said that you're making, you know, here you're making them for human consumption. Yep. Uh, water's brown. Yes. All of this water is pretty brown. So I promise <laughs> Am I able you. To eat it? <laughs> well, I won't give you the brown water. So that it's you. brown just because what we're using is a, a nutrient solution. So what we've actually got down here for you, you'll be pleased to know, is some some of our duckweed, but in very clean water. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. So feeling <laughs> brave? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Very brave of him. What am I gonna? What's it gonna taste like? Do you reckon? Oh, let me know. So they. <laughs> so some they they can all taste. We've had lots of different feedback. It tastes like a lot of nothing. Perfect. <laughs> and that's actually a really good answer, and it's kind of what we're looking for. Got it right. Yeah, no, no, uh, because we want something that's very neutral that we can then use to add and layer flavour that tastes great. I, just, I still do have some leftovers from lunch. Do you want them back, or...? No, no, I think we're all... Uh, oh, OK. <laughs> I feel like an astronaut now. Excellent. <laughs>